here with Ripley, our one-year-old lab mix. And because we've done so many videos already showing how to use the obedience and the commands and the training outside on walks and hikes, I thought we should do a video explaining how we use the commands practically inside our own home. So when she goes home, I'm hoping her families can use these commands the way that we use them here. So let me show you. We have our own place right now. Place simply means the dog is on a bed, lying down, and most of all, they're calm. So she's just chilling here, watching my cat, watching me talk. And from here, I can bring her with a heel, heel, good girl, into my house. Good girl. So she's walking at my left side, watching where I go, good girl. If she deviates or gets distracted, I can simply tap the tone. So I tap, tap the tone, which makes a beep in her collar, gets her right back with me. I can bring her in the living room. And once again, put her on place. Place! Good girl. Down. Good girl. I don't know. When she's on place, I want her calm, lying down. I don't want her standing or sitting up. Uh, she can be looking around calmly, but if she gets too focused on, say, my cat playing with a toy, <laughs> I, I will ask her to take it down a notch. I can do that by asking her to down, double down. Very good. See how she put her head down, kicked her legs out, and just relaxed a little bit more? That's all I want from her. Good girl. She can still watch the cat play, just she can't have those thoughts going through her head of, I should jump off this bed and chase that cat. She's a girl who has prey drive, not surprising with her breed mix, but we don't really want that with our household animals. Good girl. So on place, I can leave her here. Stay. Good job. And she stays there and relaxes. I'll flip my camera around. Good girl. Down. Good job. If I asked for that double down and she just sat there looking at me, I could simply come over and tap the black button here that gives me the number on the screen. That tells her, hey, take it down a notch. Let's try it. job. So I tapped right there. We're at a number six out of a hundred. And that caused her to just take it down a little bit further. Good job. Now she's more reliable to stay in that downstay on the place bed. I'm going to the kitchen without her. And we'll try a recall out of sight. Good job. And even cooler, I can show you the tone recall. So this button here, T, T for tone. It makes a beep on her collar in that room, and that means come to the human, so she'll naturally come find me. So I'll say C-O-M-E and tap that tone. She should come find me and sit at my feet. Come. Good girl. Hey. Hi. Very nice. And from here, I can choose to heal her around, or I can ask her to actually do what I want to do next, and down. Good girl. And for every command, I give it one time. I don't repeat myself. So right there, I said down, and she said, no, I don't, I don't think I feel like it. I would not say down again. I would just go and simply tap the black button here. That would make her feel the number six sensation on the collar. And that would mean to her, try something. And naturally, she'll just down. Very nice. Good girl. I'm done with my chores, I'm going to take her outside for a break. But I'm not simply going to just say, all right, go on, run through the house like a bowl, go outside and use the bathroom and play. So I'm going to heal her to the back door, have her sit, give me some eye contact before I do release her out to the yard. Heal. Good girl. We always stop at thresholds. I'd like to sit from her if you give it to me right there. As long as the dog is stopping and giving me her attention, I'm happy. Rip. Six. Good girl. We're gonna open the door. She's not allowed to just fly out there. She is like.
like a bowling ball. She's very used to just running out of doors when they open, so it's a good test for her. The cat, too. Break. She's free to go outside, play, use the bathroom, do dog stuff. And I get a little break from her.